Welcome back, everybody. It's nice to be back. I want to thank Lindsay Monroe for filling in last week as I took a little time off. And boy, what a great week to take off. huh? You know, there are some benefits to being a weatherman, and that's knowing when to uh, take some time off. Just a relaxing vacation. Didn't go anywhere, didn't do anything, which is pretty nice. Not all that much different than what I do here, but at least I didn't have to shave. Now, uh, here we take a look at the clouds and the radar, and right here is a cold front, and this is eventually going to make its way closer to us. And before this front gets here, it scoops in some more heat and so some more humidity out ahead of it, and that brings us up to near 90 degrees for the daytime high tomorrow, but a warm and muggy night tonight. Now, overnight lows in the past have been down into the 50s and so on over the past week or so, but tonight we'll be down to about 65 degrees or so. And don't be surprised if we have a little scattered uh, patchy fog developing during the late overnight hours into the first part of the day tomorrow. Right now it's 83 in Terre Haute, 85 in Robinson, 85 in Casey, 81 in Mattoon, and 82 in Olney. 83, by the way, is the high for the day today. Average high is 89. Last week was when we had the hottest average week of the year, and that would be a daytime high of 90 degrees for the average. Well, we didn't hit uh, close to that. And so now we get back to where we're starting to see average temperatures scale off a little bit as daylight uh, becomes a little bit shorter each and every day. Uh, Terre Haute has a breeze from the south east at five miles per hour, northwest in Robinson, southeast in Vincennes, and uh, southeast in Mattoon at five miles per hour. So let's take a look at the Storm Team 10 Futurecast, see if we can figure out where this uh, cold front is. Out ahead of it through the nighttime hours tonight, this is 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Lindsay will be here tomorrow morning to bring you up to date with what's going on for the day tomorrow. But she's going to talk about a hot and rather humid day tomorrow. So if you gave the air conditioners a break last week, you'll probably want to need them maybe even tonight and certainly during the day tomorrow if you're sensitive to heat and humidity. Here's 6 o'clock tomorrow night through 9 o'clock and even midnight tomorrow night. It's not until after midnight. This then here is 6 o'clock on Wednesday morning. That's when we have the chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through. And those will last during the day on Wednesday and then taper off as we get further into the day on Wednesday. At this point, I'm not looking for an all day rain on Wednesday, but as we get further into the week, again, another chance of rain. So warm and muggy, patchy fog possible tonight. An overnight low of 65 degrees, partly cloudy, hot and humid tomorrow a high of 90 degrees tomorrow night, warm and humid. Overnight storms will be possible tomorrow night. We'll continue to track that for you. And the seven day forecast, well, a 40% chance of scattered showers and thunder showers on Wednesday, but a high of only 83 degrees. So the hottest day of the week, Matt, in the forecast period to me, looks like it's going to be 90 degrees and that will be Tuesday when we have a partly cloudy sky. And then we get into Thursday and Friday daytime highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Maybe some rain this weekend.